It's Open House Thursday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Wake in the building. Yo, yo, yo. Your hearing today is different too. Mm. As That's in, energy. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Mm. I love your earrings though. They're cute. Thank you. That, that, sorry, so, got it from that, your, that place you went birthday to. birthday present actually. Oh, ah, nice. From Kate. Oh, that's Kids. your Thank you. Eh. Advocate enshrine. Yeah. I went that shakes her booty. When I came back from. <laughs> <laughs> that's her job. She's a dancer. <laughs> How you doing, Shia? You're fine? No, not too bad. Not too bad. Ah, I took a picture of the two cars that broke down inside the mud in our area today. Oh. <laughs> Have we posted it? Uh, I, post, I forgot to post. <laughs> tag your governor. Uh, uh, they say yes. you can't tag him. Uh, really? he has, uh, he, he's on Instagram and everything, but you can't, you can't tag, tag, you can't tag him. You're tagging. Uh, oh. Can you imagine? Uh, what's wrong with our leaders? Mm. What's wrong with because of people now, you're, you're over stressing them now. I don't they should want to hear feedback. It's the only way you how can get millions, better. How many millions can it, you, you, can if, get? If you choose to rule, mm. if you choose to be a leader, you have to be ready. Take everything that comes with it. Leadership. Okay. Yes, so That's why I feel bad that YK was at our, our party on Sunday. At least he would have gotten access to. Oh, this yes, he was right there. Governor. Why he... governor was right there. He was right there. Which governor? Your governor. Your governor. Your state governor. I lied. If you had yes. gone there, you'd have seen you'd have, him. You'd have at least gone to the They didn't give me invitation. Uh, 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 if they gave me invitation, I would have been there. Your whole mouth, you have just got to go, guy, but I shall know why. I said if they are giving me the invitation, okay, you got your invitation I just, think, uh, uh, how can you call me? Party is on Sunday. You call me Sunday morning. Okay. No, no. You say, ah, you have mean. your invitation. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I don't even know the dress code. I don't know ready, anything. Exactly. Anyway, let me come to talk. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. <clears throat> Challenging my inner BC. Please, we are selling land. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just accusing me on this table. No, 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 no. Because... When, when I checked my bank account, it was not banking. It was not, it was not accounting. It was not accounting. And I said, I'm not saying I'm like, I'm not saying that. Why are you, you are now, you are now forming, you should not market. You know, there's, I used to say, where I used to market before. Mm. I will go you to will sites, dance. I will dance. My dears, get ready. Money don't for come. Going back. No one form, my, must he arrive. Account to the tea arrive. <laughs> There is promo. We are selling land. No stress. <laughs> and Ali and Ali. And then, uh, yes, Ile and Ile. Ile and Ile. All right. So I'm going to get to uh, right. Isaka. Okay. What do they call it in Yoruba? We call it Isaka. That's Sheke. Is it Shekere that they use yeah. for your own market? Please. Since I'm yes. ringing bell, yeah. so you use Shekere. Shekere. They have influenced me because when I started doing video on selling book, ah, I started doing promo. I said, BC and Topway have talked to me this day. I must all go. If, if you think you just sit down somewhere, I'm coming out of here. Money, you say you don't sell it. Money does not come. You will, you will, you will position yourself yes. like when we will see you. Yes. To anyway, receive the money, do. I am still selling clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm doing sales, but aside from that, start that, charging you guys for oh, please, marketing. Oh, please. Uh, uh, <laughs> aside from but, that, I've been um, low yeah. lately. Um, bills are just coming left, oh, right, and center. Yeah. You know, when a business is trying to expand, mm. you are just seeing things you did not see before. I, I'm not telling myself it's like I've been playing since. So I've been doing this business as a hobby. Now that I'm getting into the real deal. The bills are just Post. so enormous and it sort of made me low a few days. Oh. But uh, this morning I listened to some motivational stuff. I've been able to lift, you know, lift my spirit and I think I'll just continue on that and see how it goes so that I'm able to uh, vibrate and attract. Yes, so bring it <laughs> you in. Know, <laughs> that abundance that I need for my business. So I'm so <laughs> selling books. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, don't worry, get on my But actually, I must acknowledge um, one of our fans that came in from Texas, um, Latifa yes. Sakash, is in the building. Yes. yes. Hello, Mrs. Latifa Sakash. Thank you so much for um, coming. She came to see. She was really excited to see us this morning. Took mm -hmm. pictures. Good to have you um, around. So let's go on a quick break. When we come back, oh, don't forget to please send us your stories. Mm -hmm. If you want to share parts of your real life stories with us that you'd like us to discuss and share and get the views of our the ladies and also our viewers, please send them to your view at TVC Communications. Dot TV. I have to put the S because we just put communication. Right there on the screen, yeah. Guys. So please send your stories. We'll love, because usually, <coughs> excuse me, we reference stories from different blogs and all yeah. that. But you know what? I felt that we can actually get the stories ourselves. Mm -hmm. So send it to us. We actually do get some on our, on our DMs, actually. Your viewers are very friendly. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> so please send us the stories. We'd love to uh, discuss them um, and get the views of Nigerians and also the ladies. Levels don't okay, change. let's go on a quick break. It's Thursday. It's our gisting day. So that's why YK is being very, very <laughs> YK. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 
Okay, we're going to start with the nation. Tinumbu, remedy for subsidy withdrawal hardship soon. Investors' confidence now boosted by Nigerian, uh, Nigeria X for X. Nigerian exchange, actually. Federal government states to partner on electricity. Our next move against Russia by G7. Ladoja takes on Makinde Olubadon. Obas over stool. CBN directs payment of dollar receipt in Naira. Vandals remove fittings on Second Niger Bridge. And Nigeria fully redeems $500 million <laughs> euro bond. Oh, okay. Okay, which story are we starting with the nation? <laughs> All right, so um, the Central Bank of Nigeria yesterday gave a directive to international money transfer operations. And um, they are saying that um, you have to pay uh, that dollars received through diaspora remittances to domestic um, beneficiaries would now be transferred in Naira if it's an option that you want. So I do business and I have most of my clients abroad who send me dollars. Mm. <clears throat> and I realize, excuse me, <clears throat> and I realize that when I get to the bank, they insist that I, you know, get them in dollars. And sometimes it's just small, small money, $50, $100 here and there. But now CBN is saying that you have an option to either take the dollars or you want your money given to you in Naira. This would be beneficial to especially small businesses like myself and other people right now. Without, because it's floated. So because we've yes. like been before. Yes. Different, there would have been a difference in the Yes, rate. yes. So now we're going to get it. And they made a list of, you know, um, transactions and um, banks that have an opportunity to do this. They said Western Union, World Remit Limited. Uh, that's platforms. Cashport Limited, E-Transact International Limited, Lead Remit Limited, Flutterwave Technology Solutions Limited, InterSwitch Limited, uh, Belly Fet Limited. Cape Remit, UK Limited, Chime In, Sendwave, uh, Colony Capital Limited, and Comet Trading, that. And all that. And quite a number of them. You know, <laughs> why I'm mentioning yeah. it so that you know the options that you have. Use. I use Sendwave most of the time, and now I'm able okay. to. Okay, so the major headline in Nation um, the president met with his class of 1999. Those are the other people with the governors doing his own period. And it was an interesting uh, meeting where he was said that, um, that he's, he's committed to. My commitment to that democratic value is unwavering. I am overwhelmed and honored by your numbers that are here. I have an open door policy. You are my advisors. So he's asking that they will continue to be his advisors. And he used that opportunity to approve 500 billion naira palliative, uh, for, uh, palliative cash for the subsidy removal. I don't know how that will be disbursed, but I think that in, in coming weeks we will understand that the process. But he also said that he, he emphasized that electricity supply will receive a huge boost, assuring that. His policies are geared towards revamping the economy and in the interest of Nigeria, that subsidy removal is like a reborn of Nigeria itself, that we're going to now start off and continue to build uh, the country um, um, and get rid of all these few smugglers and a number of others. You know, just the idea is just to put a government back on the path of growth. But it was quite interesting that they were tagged class of 1999. Initially, I was wondering why class of 1999, but it was really this, interesting. This just shows us that we don't grow up. Why are you calling yourself class? You are not even class. You are a governor. You, if you had called yourself governors of 1999, yes. you, are not, you are not in school. So it was... It was it's, not, it's, not, it's not a classroom. Yeah. It was Come a reporter. On, up, sure it, was the, it was the reporter that probably tagged it class off. Yeah. But I doubt it if they called themselves class. I, well, I heard it all over. Everywhere I saw class, class of 99. Of, yeah. All the papers have said class of 99. So I believe they came in. And said they are class of 99. That, that they call themselves school children. <laughs> Why does that nomenclature anyway, affect you in any way? It affects me because... Grow up. No, I just, I mean, okay. some of them are in their 60s. They're calling you, call yourself class. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> they, they, were, they were actually governors. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is they were actually governors. Mm. Right, doing that period. That, uh, yeah, and... Your you nomenclature know, they, can actually affect how you perform. Exactly. How you view yourself, your mindset and everything. Uh, I agree with they're you, not, They're not in government. I was okay. <laughs> They're not in government. I hope you know that. I just, I'm just, I don't know. Go ahead. I'm just, I'm, I'm just venting. Mm. Because you will not do road Why can't take your story? <laughs> yeah. second, the second Niger Bridge. They are vandalizing the second Niger Bridge. Nigerians again. No. Eh? The engineer's representative um, for the second Niger Bridge, Jay Martins, has condemned the removal of the fittings from the second Niger Bridge by vandals. He says that maybe it's because of the low turnout on the bridge. Not many people are using the bridge because of the insecurity in the region. Uh, so he's giving them time to remove the fittings, but um, they have assured us that they will beef up security around the bridge to protect it from vandalism. I think it's just very shameful. It's a new bridge. 
they've been begging for this bridge for very long time. A very long time. Uh, many years. And now you're vandalizing it. What do we do? How do we re reset our brains in Nigeria, please? See, I do you notice how YK ban... changes her tone? Mm. When she's talking about the people, I wish they were going. It was going like, imagine, he goes late. Where is the people now? You see, let's just use our brain now. <laughs> but I'm just, just, just a side comment. Just a side comment. You side but, commenting yeah. there. Yes. Don't mind that. She should be side commenting. <laughs> like, I'm just giving you. But the point, point is, but yeah, the point the, is, maybe YK is feeling like Nigeria. These Nigerians have been brutalized for so long. So yeah. there's a level of exactly. compassion. Exactly. Uh, and then, but the leaders have been aggressively punishing okay. us for so long. Okay. So and calling themselves ch children. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just helped it you. Means classification. There's something that was done. So, um, I, I was trying to, I don't know. A Are you reviewing paper? Yes, a oh, House of Rep member <laughs> was... <laughs> just to be sure. A, a House of Rep member was walked out, or rather... Oh, yeah, the walked t guy. out, um, because he came with T-shirts and um, jeans, while everybody knows that there is, a, there is a dress code for being in plenary or for get, go, coming into the floor of the House of Assembly. And the dress code includes that you wear a suit and tie or you wear a native with a matching cap. Up, yeah. But he showed up with shirt and, um, a t-shirt and jeans and um, uh, a member raised a point, of, um, raised the issue for the speaker to address it. But when the man realized what was happening, he stood up and walked out. I wonder why they did not mention his name on, in this particular paper nation that we are reviewing because I feel like his name should be mentioned. Not to punish him, just to be sure Okay. Before people assume he's a young person or he's an old person, let's just... I saw the picture yesterday. Mm. He should know okay. the dress code now. There's code of conduct for everything. Let's uh, move on now to the punch. <clears throat> NLC protests Tinubu's 500 billion naira subsidy palliative demands 300% pay rise. No Nigerian child should lack education, says Malala. House to investigate 14-year <coughs> power outage in Undo communities. Reps probe contract fraud. Revenue leaks in Namasa, Nimasa. After Basanjo's revelation, article can't label me corrupt, says Otom. Boards will be kicks as Tinubu offers opposition governor's slots. Nigeria redeems $500 million bond despite revenue challenges. An army chief orders IPOB rape, um, publishes amnesty for bandits. Okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing Punch. Yes, which story are we starting with in Punch? Yes, um, I have a story. Let me quickly get it. Yeah, so um, they said the House of Representatives... Uh, has resolved to investigate an alleged 14-year power outage in some communities in Ondo State mm -hmm. under the jurisdiction of the Benin Electricity Distribution Company, that's the Benin Disco. So uh, this was a motion, uh, adoption of a motion by an Ondo APC lawmaker, Odimayo John, at plenary. Uh, this happened yesterday. And he alleged that communities in the Irele local government areas of the state, including Ode Irele, Ode Ajaja, <laughs> Akotobo, oh. mm. Yesha. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You people mention other names too. Mother it. But that's beside the point. I said they've been with, these communities have been without um, electricity supply for the past uh, 14 years. And he said um, the situation had brought untold hardship to a lot of uh, small and medium enterprises. M most of them had to fold up and relocated away from the community. And so um, they are asking that it has to be reviewed. They are giving them uh, to report back in eight weeks. Let, let them really understand why those communities don't have uh, power, why some of them were cut off from the national grid. And uh, hopefully they will be able to resolve the issue. It's so okay. terrible. It's it is. It's really so terrible. Uh, yeah, I wanted to take um, that the uh, immediate past governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom, has said that the former uh, vice president, Atiku Abubakar, has no moral grounds to accuse him of corruption after what um, uh, the former president, Ulushegun Abbasan, just said about him. He said, um, he described Atiku uh, as the first presidential candidate in, in the country to be rejected by key party stakeholders. 
I guess he's talking about himself and the G, G4. <laughs> was it G? They were G5, so he and the other four members, so him and the G4. He says um, he, he was uh, going by articles, mm. media aids, um, accusing him of, and the G5 governor of seeking favors from the ruling party mm. uh, to uh, evade <clears throat> prosecution. He says he, he has gone to EFCC. Once they invited him, he went there because there have been allegations against him. He has gone. So, mm. uh, uh, article saying that he was one of the worst governors in the history, that that one is, by the way, that he, article, right. is the, the main, the main. All right. <laughs> All right, so I have a story here. So, Peter Obi has kicked against the, um, the offer of the president's um, the, I think it was, um, the, 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 according to this report, actually, the king against the offer of board slots to state governors, including those elected under the PDP, APM, LP, and other political parties. According to the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, um, the governor of Kwara State, Mr. Abdurrahman Abdurrazak, um, he, he has specified that the, the APC government will be extending board slots to other the former governors from other political parties. However, Peter Obi has kicked against this, saying that it's a gimmick. Um, according to him, I just lost that. Said that they are well, they, they, that this is um, a gimmick from the APC government. It's obviously a gimmick, of course. You know that the Tinubu and um, the, the oppositions are, well, I don't want to use the words, the use of strong words here. Yeah. I'm trying to pick the right words. <laughs> but pretty much, but PDP on the other hand was saying that the article Abubakar was approached. He said that the reaction to, 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 those, to that offering is unnecessary. However, SDP said it's a welcome development and it shows commitment of the president to integrate other people for the leading government. So, depends on how you look at it. Others <coughs> think it's a gimmick, others are saying it's a good welcome Ooh. development. So, okay. amnesty for bandits have failed. <coughs> From the chief of army staff, <coughs> Major General. I can't take it. Sorry. 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 Let's move on now to Punch. You take it later. To the, sun. to the sun. Moving on to sun. Need water. Army to governors. Give us free hands to deal with terrorists. Few subsidy removal. Tenable rights national assembly. Six, 500 billion naira for palliatives. This quite an APC over 30 billion naira campaign funds. Six score, one mark each. As NECO releases 2023 common entrance exam results. Navy uncovers sabotage NNPC well, um, wellhead in rivers. Energy security, FG to attract $18 billion investments into petroleum sector. Ladoja, Suze Makinde, mm -hmm. Ulubad on 10, New Obas, Attorney General. Okay, which story are we taking in? So the Nigerian army yesterday talked uh, tough on the menace of terrorists and other criminal ravaging uh, some areas of the country. They said they have intensified operations against bandits, kidnappers, and other criminal groups that are terrorizing the North Central northwest zones of the country especially. So the chief of army staff, uh, Major General Tarid Lagbaja, uh, was the one who made this known when he received governors of Zamfara and Plateau State, Dauda Lawal and Caleb uh, at the army headquarters in Abuja. And he said that the killings in the zone has become a daily occurrence. The military, military will no longer fold their hands to watch criminals slaughter innocent citizens. And he warned the criminals to flee the country or have themselves to blame. So he said, um, most of the criminals have been on, placed on close marking and um, they are trying as much as possible to ensure that they do not escape from where they are. So they are tracing them, they are watching them, they are monitoring them and um, it will be very difficult for them to attempt to flee the Northeast. Um, and the idea is that anyone who chooses to be a criminal will have himself to blame by the time they get a hold of the person and you know, deal with them. So this is more like a call to all the army chiefs that they have to intensify their efforts in trying to help us get out of these insecurity issues, especially in the north uh, central. Okay, so in addition to that story, the chief of army staff, which um, spoke about the fact that bandits, the amnesty for bandits had failed, and he broke it down in that same uh, meeting that in Zamfara State, many of these bandits had been given time um, provided with amnesty, but that time given to them gave them opportunity to regroup yeah. and even come back and hurt people. Yeah. And that they are not going to, this is, it is a failed system, it's not going to happen. Then concerning Plateau State, did you take that? 
because um, the East Carry challenges within Plato State, said the Plato State insecurity challenges are local lo within um, three local governments, mm -hmm. and that it's been ongoing for a very long time. And he's going to, he was speaking to the governor to say there are many inquiries. Mm -hmm. You know, they've done um, community, committees have released information that they feel would help the situation. That if the governor really wants <coughs> to solve the problem, the governor should implement the advice that those committees, the recommendations that had come in. And also mentioned that strengthening the, <clears throat> the strengthening the, um, the, the, there is a set of um, security, local security app apparatus that they should strengthen them not to work against the people. Mm. And I had to break down this time because Amaram has been taking the story of consistent yeah. violence within the um, plateau state. It's a farmer header clash. It's been ongoing for a very long time. And there are recommendations on ground that should be um, implemented yeah. that hasn't been implemented and the chief of arms is sending the governor to implement those things and talk to the security people let, let us judge or rather than war war was the and one that in used. addition to the, he has also said that the governor should please give him a free hand mm. to do with it <laughs> do with it oh. all of us are choking it's gonna break <laughs> it's gonna break from back what the heck can you not say lenny for me everybody's choking, everybody's choking no. Stay tuned. Your view. Any paper? Thanks for staying with us. Thanks for sending us some stories already, which we have. And that's why we love to discuss family life issues on Thursdays, because that's when we discuss um, real stories that people are going through. And we got one today, uh, I think a few days ago, actually. Uh, Topka, I'd like you to share that story with us. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the woman sent in the message. She said she's been married for 17 years. And the last time she and her husband had had um, intimate relationship was in May 2020. And yes, they live in the same house, and um, their relationship is cold towards each other. That even those that are, that observe them outside will see that they are not. Um, there's been no intimacy between them. She claims that her husband has never been really big on um, the other room matters, mm. and um, was never really satisfying <clears throat> her before. But now it's even worse because since May 2020 till July 2023, nothing has happened. He said, he also mentioned, so the question now is that the, the, she's worried that, is it that because the man has suddenly become born again, or is it a case of, um, can, can, um, can she cheat or should she seek divorce? So uh, that's a question to us mm -hmm. and to everyone. So she wants to know if she could cheat, if she should divorce, or if she should um, get, if you have any other advice for her. So She's in tears, according to her, when she wrote this, because she doesn't know what to do, and she's hoping that we are able to offer some solution, including you. So, call the numbers. Okay, so, <laughs> so I mean, that, that, that's really the story. And um, because it's a breakfast television, it's a really difficult story to talk about, but we'll, we'll try to our, our best, uh, because this is a situation lots of people are going through. Interestingly, Many of our mothers and aunties also went through this path and they were not very vocal about it. They accepted their, um, their situation and lived their lives like that. I mean, all, all through their lives. But today, more women are being very expressive. Um, they're able to, um, to vocalize their innermost desires and thoughts. And that's why we're having this conversation. How do we manage a situation like this, especially in modern times? You can call us on the numbers on your screen, 081. 0764-1679-090-241-63440. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag TVC so we can read your tweets. <coughs> okay, Julie, would like to start? What are your thoughts on this story from this woman? It's a painful one mm. because um, even though you're not so... Um, uh, I'm trying to be careful of the word, words, and, yeah. but it's, it's a word. Even though you're not so um, sexual in nature or in your relationship, when there's a death of it, it becomes, if you're faced with a new reality. Can I continue this relationship without 
having to do this ever again or having to do this once in three months or once in six months or just living as, okay, roommates. We're roommates, we're neighbors, we're friends. And can I, can I continue? And unfortunately, she didn't tell us if she had children. You know, it was just... 17 years. Yeah, 17 years. So she may have mm -hmm. had children. She may also not have had children. And you, you, the first thing I would say is um, you have to go back to asking yourself questions like, why am I in this relationship in the first place? What was the attraction? What did I uh, foresee was going to happen in the relationship? What, what, what's my main reason? Is it to, have, to procreate, to have children, or for companionship, or everything in totality? Mm -hmm. And then ask yourself again, um, am I, are these needs being met? in this relationship. And it's not a conversation you're going to have just by yourself. It's a conversation you're going to have with the man who has decided to be born again and left his duties, mm -hmm. his conjugal duties. And I know that if you are born again, it doesn't mean you're going to abandon your duties because even the scripture tells you that you own each other's body. It's so bad that if you have to do a fast as a woman and you're a Christian, and you know, when you're fasting, you're supposed to abstain for a number of days. You must take the permission of your husband or the husband must take the permission of the wife to go on for those amount of days without being touched, right? So being born again is not an excuse. There's underlying um, issues that they already have, which if she goes to therapy, they may be able to unburden mm. some of those issues right. and, you know, find a way you to know, get her healed. You know, in, the, in, in these days, the kind of women we have today don't even like to take the route of let us discuss it. Let us, they just move on. Mm. A lot of people today, because they've gotten to the point where there are a lot of women are empowered. They, 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 are, they are probably, some of them, I'm not saying all of them, but some women just feel like, I've tried to engage you once or twice, it's not happening, and they just want to either leave the marriage or separate from it or get a divorce. Many, many just feel like, why do I have to take this? You know, so that's where we are with modern, with modern societies. But I'm not saying that's how everybody is. But in your view, let me come to you, Waiki. In this kind of situation, I know you already had your own idea of what the man could be. <laughs> but what, what do you think when a woman is saying that I've been married for this amount of years and this man is not even satisfying me at all? In what the I beginning, think? now it has dried up. Uh, if it has dried up, you know, th that's why communication is key. Right. First of all, she should go and ask him, are you a homosexual? Yeah, well. That way. We know whether we should just live as man and wife so that no, we hide our secrets yes. from the world or yeah. I move on. I, if I were her, I would move on. I would first communicate with my husband. But how, what, how is he doing you? <laughs> Tell me, you are not attracted to me because of you have different leanings. Mm. Mm. Different orientations. Any, I, 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 anyhow, you want to look yeah. at it. So communicate because I think without communication, we lose a lot mm. when we don't communicate. When yeah. we don't sit down and talk, I believe in sitting down to talk before any action is taken. So, now, when you now talk, okay, should we pretend so that I can? Me, I have me. Sort so, yourself out. Eh, so we keep it on the down low. Yeah, mm. well. Or should I be going? But well, these days, there are, there are options. Women have options these days. Mm. There, are, mm. there are tools that can be engaged where you can still be... Uh, yeah, you leave all those ones. No, so, okay. I'm just saying that so, there are, are technology access. provides you options today. Okay, so... You need, so if you are feeling that this is not the, the, the I, physical... I, I don't need to have relations, but I need that human... Mm. Contact. 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 Mm. So for, for me, I feel that... Um, First thing, the, there's, a, there's a problem. There was a problem before the final problem, which is that they, they were not sexually compatible. And the conversation should have been had since then. But maybe they did not have that conversation. They don't use the So, but when you say that you are married <laughs> to someone and you are not intimate with that person for over two years, you don't need to communicate. What do you think is going on? But really, like... Yeah. The, what do you think is going on? Mm -hmm. If you are not at all for two years, it's not like there's a medical condition that you are aware that maybe he has a medical or she has. No, you just, it just stopped. Maybe and then stop. we're both now just looking at each other and doing as if we did not know that something has stopped <laughs> in our marriage. <laughs> so that there's a problem yeah. and they are both not knowing how to address that problem. So the first thing is, 
if we want this value to continue, a lot has to be done to but, dig deep into yeah. what is what was okay. the foundation. I was going to come to the causes because you said something about compatibility, mm. which I think is one of the causes, but we don't we really overlook it. But we'll come back to that. Let me take Benga from the UK. Hi, hi, Moraya. Hi, Thanks guys. for calling. Go ahead, please. Um, yes. Yeah, so um, regarding this topic, I would like to. Um, I, I would have loved if that woman had told you guys uh, if she had had this discussion with her uh, husband. Um, I've been in this kind of situation before, but okay. it's not it's not for that that length of time. Okay. Uh, but I did speak with my wife. We had a discussion, okay. and you know we kind of sorted it out. We had. Um, you know, went for holidays, and somehow we, you know, we reignited the loss, sort of, if you understand what I mean. So she should have a sit down with her husband, talk about it, talk about it. have uh, an honest discussion, you know, and hopefully that would that would yield the most. Benga, could you share with us what issue. caused yours? What caused yours? Um, it wasn't wasn't anything really. I think my wife just. Was a year after she had a, 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 um, a second child, mm -hmm. and she was a bit overwhelmed, mm -hmm. sort So it, she just needed some rest, more support, and I understood where she was coming from, and we we, we kind of started it in that. It wasn't anything serious. It wasn't like having a fight or if, if you know what I mean. Okay. Thank you so, so much. So this part of the story is a common one when women immediately they have um, children. children, maybe after the first one or second, there's a sort of like overwhelming period of I don't know how to cope with it. Don't, don't even touch me. I just I'm, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. That's different from there is a Not drought, drought per persistent over two years. So, so let's, let's go back to the causes. What could have caused that? Could it be incompatibility? Because in the beginning, you know when you, when you want to get married to somebody, there's a time that in the movies, you fall in love and it roses and the whole thing, there's this sexual collection, mm. connection. But in the Nigerian context, it doesn't always happen like that. Right? Let me, let me learn my point. It doesn't always happen like that because as you're going all that, I find a boy in church for her now. Find one lady, one connection, maybe somebody, my friend's mommy, my friend's, um, my, my, my friend's mother's, Parents, whatever it is, got me their cousin that came back from, from Abuja or somewhere, you know. So they are connectly con um, connecting people, right? So it's not that that love at first sight connection mm. you get. You grow into it. Mm. And because you grow into that relationship that became a marriage, both of you are perfect. You work good jobs. You have good um, um, communication skills with the two of you. But that part, that, that small part, mm. that part, you didn't really address it. Hoping that in marriage it will adjust itself. Mm -hmm. But then one year, two years, three years go by and realize, ah, ah. Nothing is happening. Mm. So it's not as if you, you don't have communication or you're, not, you're good together, but that part is just you're incompatible in that part. There's no chemistry. I just wanted to tell you something yes. before, I, I, and especially talk about You see, a man, eh, if he not get money, nothing they happen there. <laughs> if, if a man is broke, he okay. doesn't have money, and he has serious so financial... So that's one of the causes. It's one of the causes. One of the causes. Nothing can okay. happen. But poor people okay. do now. For some people no, that no, have no, had money before, they don't, they, do they, don't, they don't back they, up. They are, they are leveling. Because if you've had money before. But if you are having financial problem, nothing. There is no, 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 put the sexiest in front of him. Nothing will happen there. <laughs> okay, let me pause you for a second. Let so me I one. just, that's why I think communication is always key. Yeah. All right, we'll come back to that. It's an important point. Let me take this call and come back to that point. Adebayo, thanks for calling. Uh, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this is my first calling. Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah. Well, and I, well, uh, to me, from my own experience, I've been into marriage for the past 22 years. Wow. Uh, I've been living with a woman. I know it's not a lazy time with a woman. Uh -huh. So, uh, and at the same time, by and large, when you look at what is going on now, there are a lot of issues in a marriage cycle. When you go to church from my own language, a woman to check out for a man to uh, today I'm not going to see the man now you are together for the past years. It goes a long way. And we see what you know, there are lots of young ideas that look you look at guys now that are not so supporting the man. So 
Sorry, sorry, it's not me? very clear. I can't hear you. I really want to hear. Did you hear anything he said? We didn't okay, hear you. Can you hear it's really, really muffled. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay, what I'm saying in my sense is that uh, is it clear now? Go ahead. Okay. What I'm saying in my sense is that, is that the, man, the woman should check herself. For that man to decide not to touch a woman, they have been saying it for the past three years. And it's not easy for any man at all. Well. Even if the man is even cheating outside, you still have to play a role of the man in the house. In the house. Uh, yeah, but the fact is that by and large, what I'm thinking of is that maybe there is issue beyond that yeah. sex man yeah. has. So she does the woman to check her first. Because there is a way you can do it. If the man is okay. true, that is all right, point again. So it's so not only woman that should be checking self here. Yeah. Even the man self that is not doing his job because it's he's his job. Himself. Should check himself. So so far we talked about three things. Yeah. Um, like I said, financial problem, financial problems, problem. Yeah. I said incompatibility. Compatibility. Because the truth is that there are some people that are in that situation, and he's now saying that the woman should check herself. Mm -hmm. like there might be a. Um, what about medical reasons? Yeah. There may be medical underlying reasons that I know, and unfortunately, a lot of men are not very. Um, fought, fought coming in mm. going to see the doctors when something is wrong, right? It's the women that would notice something and then they are rushing to get see the gynecologist. Some men are a bit more reluctant because of how society has made it and the bruise on their ego if mm. they actually find out that something is wrong. So for a man to stay for a long time in a house and this woman definitely will be taking her bath and dressing up and the man's body is not doing giz, giz, giz. Mm. There's something beyond just the compatibility. So for compatibility, you can now do once in a month, once in two, you know, once in a while, you just do it because you have to do it. And a lot of women actually do this with their husband as a result of, it's a, it's a chore, yes. It's an obligation. Let's, let me just do it because I have to do it. So yeah, let me just manage it, even if it's not hitting the right Until spot. Until they find let's it just, compatible. They will not find hey, it. Just father. Let me just manage it, you know, and they still do it. But to go that long, without three years. three years and your husband is not moving there's something really deep yeah. it's either he has lost any form of attraction for you it's a medical issue a uh, compatibility they can that can be solved you know with what i just or explained he's or the, he's other way. the other way or he has just noticed okay. that he's no longer swings sexual, towards you he swings. Is uh -huh. yes. he swings yes you know there are a lot of issues which you must have to get to a place where you unburden. So for you, your woman, a woman to even stay this long, I can't even imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks. Mm. Brother, come and explain <laughs> what is happening. <laughs> Let me take this call <laughs> from the like fear me, bro. Ah, no. Hey, I'll be a Julu like that too. Of me. <laughs> Fila, ah. thanks for calling, Fila. You're live. By K. <laughs> Good morning, Fila. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning. I want to talk about the uh, issue here. It's very, very unrealistic for a married woman to be living with her husband for three years without intimate relationship. The reason being that when you're married, the obligation between the two people is to actually satisfy each other's needs. But in terms of misunderstanding because I come to understand during relationship we tend to hide a lot of things. Mm. We don't actually understand each other. We engage emotion because emotion is something that really want to protect you from the other person's flows and you also want to protect the other person from your flows. So you don't actually open the room for conversation. A lot of people get married because they are emotionally attracted by what they see or maybe some things they feel they can gain out of the marriage, so maybe because their friends are actually getting married, not because they really want to get married because they want to build a relationship, build a family. Mm -hmm. When you have a vision, definitely a problem shared, with a problem within the family requires you guys to sit and discuss. And I also want to talk about you. the spiritual perspective when we okay, talk about... Okay, I can't hear you again, Mr. Phil. I mean, the, the volume well, is... Well, look, going... Volume, mm -hmm. going down. <laughs> but... Well, thank you. I think he was able to make some really, really important points. Mm -hmm. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
So thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing the causes. We'll come to solutions a bit later. The causes of sexual incompatibility in marriages where um, we have somebody saying that two years, three years, um, <clears throat> she and her spouse haven't been intimate and she's wondering what happened and how can she resolve it. So we're trying to review the causes. And so far we talked about no money, like you said, no money, financial issues. Um, you're maybe you're naturally incompatible with sexually. Um, third, secondly, we said... Um, so maybe the woman should go and check herself, I think. And thirdly, we said, okay, I think Mike now says sexual orientation. Mm. So there's yeah, a possibility that the person might be something else. You know, it could we don't also know. have been um, betrayal. Maybe one per, um, Infidelity? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. It, inf it, might be, it might not be infidelity. Infidelity is one kind of betrayal, but there are yeah. other things that you might have done to really... I, like yeah. a, a man can find out something, maybe like maybe he finds out that one of his child is not his yeah. or something, and he'll just be I like, can put that on that so, yes. settle differences. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. settle differences. Uh, yeah. So that 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 yeah. can also constitute. I and I also think that this when we talk about the um, issues that could contribute to things like this happening, for some people, it's a case of I didn't really enjoy this, so if it stopped for a while, it's okay, mm. and then. After the while became a year, you don't know how to now get back, back into the flow. So I don't know how to categorize that, but um, I've had such situation where I feel like I have, I have a very good friend and I've not spoken to that my friend in a long time. So I don't know how to now call her and just say, oh, I, I'm sorry I did not reach out to you. Why didn't you reach out to me? So we're now wondering who will be the one to make the first yeah, break the ice. move. Yeah. Yes, so it might also be a case of how do we break that ice of getting back together. So we have very interesting uh, okay. views from our YouTubers. Corey Michael says, the man is no longer attracted oh, to pause, the woman. Pause, pause, I have to take this call. Sorry. <coughs> Solomon, thanks for calling. I'll come back to that. Solomon, oh. you're live. Thanks for calling. All right. Um, there are a lot of Can issues. Can I get the volume increased, please? If I say there are a lot of me. issues on, the, on this uh, issue you are discussing that is not obvious. But um, if I would give my own uh, side of the story, I will say that uh, people should learn to dialogue with each other in marriage relationships. There is no perfect man or woman anywhere. And the level at which you are open and willing to forgive and be patient with each other will go a long way to helping you to have a lasting and blissful marriage. Now, uh, on the issue of sexual uh, satisfaction or not. Uh, my take on this is that uh, people should learn to be pure when it comes to the issue of sex even before marriage. The truth is that when people begin to raise the issue of satisfaction or no, or no satisfaction, the issue is that you are actually comparing your husband or your wife with an experience that you have had in the past. And the way God needs uh, uh, sex is that you will be satisfied with the man you first met or woman you first met. Even if it is two seconds, you both of you will be satisfied. But, sure. the, but we have introduced uh, something because we expose ourselves to so many sexual partners before and even in the marriage. And that's why people say, I'm not satisfied. And we have been deceived to believe that until you had sex for 30 minutes, one hour, two hours before you satisfy each other. That to me, that's not true. So I, my take on this is that people should learn sexual purity. And last sexual thing, purity. Hello? Okay, okay, thank you yeah, so yeah. much. Yeah, great. But this one That's a solution. So let me put that in no, 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 no. I'm just giving that. Is it a solution? Like he, he is what, what is, there's a part of his comment that is not scientifically, and because no. we are, people will listen and just take it as a fact. It's not a fact. He said that um, the, uh, it is the proliferation of um, people having multiple um, partners. Set partners that is leading to dissatisfaction <coughs> with one particular person. So that's, that's not his, a fact. That is his own solution. That's, that's an opinion. No, no, no. He was saying that that's the reason you can say somebody is not is not satisfying you. That if you've only oh, known one you've person, had experiences. yes, if you've only known one person, even if it is one second or one or a minute, you will be okay with it. Okay. That's not a fact, and that's not even. It's, it's, it's an opinion that is not even backed because 
um, you are taking it from a man's perspective. Okay, no, talking, not a no, woman's no, 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 perspective. Now, because it is, it's your view, it's your, his view is just as valid. But so the point he's trying to make, let's, let's be clear on his point. Mm. His point is that the reason why you're having issues in your marriage because, because you have for multiple basis for back. comparison. Yes. So some people might have that issue. You give it to you, it's not, a, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a problem. But there's some people that the reason why they're not pleased with their wife or their spouse is because I have had X, Y, Z in the Better. past and this guy is not doing it. He's not, he's not, so that memory is with them. Then why did them. you know, because maybe the they thought, Because it's part of the fact that I must, be, I, must be, I must hold myself before I enter the marriage. So you held yourself. No. Okay, that's, that's yeah, contradictory. You, mm. But... Point is that you've had experiences. Three years. You're not, so you're not comparing. It's a so, different issue. Mm. But I'm, I don't want us to discount No, no, no it's that, just that a, is a valid, valid area. Hair. The one I'm saying is thinking that because you've had no experience would mean that you will not understand what, you're missing. what you are missing. That's wrong. Okay. And it would be okay for a man to think like this because the, in, the intimacy circle is not complete without a man being satisfied. But a woman's satisfaction can be left without, hand gain. Yeah. So for a man, no experience does not mean anything. But for a woman, they can have an idea. And we watch movies, we read books, we've heard stories. So I might not have an experience about it before, Your body but I have an you. expectation yeah. of what I should get. Your body will speak to and you. And so that, just to put the facts out there, before a man will now say, why is my wife saying she's not satisfied? Maybe because she's cheated before or she's mm -hmm. cheating or she has had not something. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. So people just have the intuition of, I, I, I'm expecting okay. more Someone to happen. Someone sent me this text. He, say, he says, I have a friend who is going through such a trauma. It came to a head when she came back home one day and found her husband in bed with another man. Wow. She has not been able to recover, for, recover from that till date. I have introduced her to some therapists at least to get her back, back her sanity. Now she doesn't want to have anything to do with any man. Sadly, they still live together. Just keep the family secrets. Wow. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, that's not... A, that's not that, that's, uh, I'll take Thompson in a minute. Because it's also, I've heard this story before. Let me take Thompson. Thanks for calling. I'm from Manchester. Hi, good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Hello. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, um, from, from the narrative, the lady said they've married for a quite a while. Uh, yes. And uh, in the past three years, there seems to be no ultimate. And before then, they were like pockets of uh, this kind of break. So from there, but I have a friend who actually confided in me, and that's why I'm not using my real name, okay? All right. Mm. He was telling me, they love him, he loves his wife. This guy loves his wife, and um, he always complained that the wife kind of mothering him. Mm. Okay, mothering him. Mm. Mm. So even when we That's visit deep. our friends, we can see how the wife kind of uh, talk to him. Oh, oh, do this, oh, do that, 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 that. Then kind of mm. like, oh, this guy has changed. What is, what is going on? Even it's now that we're saying a man should, should be heavy-handed on the woman and things and things. We know that when they were courting. Do you understand? Yes. And we know how... The marriage started, and we know how the guy, everything was going well. It's not that the guy didn't have a job or anything. They both have a good job. But at the time, at the point, we now... The, 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 the behavior... Guy Thank know you, so Mr. Thompson. Now, angle. what Mr. Thompson has said is a huge point, which we don't often think about. Mm, what did you say? Now, yeah. from my understanding, you get married as a babe. Right? You and him, are, you're, you're together, you're growing, and then the babies come, and you become mommy Shade, or mm. mommy somebody. Mm. And then, you know, and then you, be, you, you put on that mothering role. So you're mothering not just your kids, you're what mothering you the domestic staff you have, you're mothering him as a husband, you are now seen as mommy. Mm. Now, as seen as mommy, you are not the babe that Anymore. turns Anymore. the lights on in him. Mm. So that, that, that picture you have that he has of you has changed. Yeah. So that, not, not that he doesn't love you, he loves you to pieces. But you're not like, mommy, Shade, or mommy, like mm. it. Mm. You know? And it doesn't really turn on the lights in him anymore. Yeah, so you, you would that say is, we haven't... That is very huge. Yeah, That's you would huge. say we haven't always been talking about it. Yes. Maybe on, not on the show. 
But I know that that's the first point of call when you start addressing women mm. to spice up their, you know, bedroom intimacy. You always, and the critic, criticisms we get is the fact that, ah, why is it that it's only the woman that will do the work? Why is it that it's only woman? So everybody kept quiet. Say, you go and be your mommy in your house. Me, I'll be my baby in my house. <laughs> I'm not the one that's complaining today. However, um, it, we, women need to understand, first of all, what keeps the attraction, what keeps him chasing you. Mm. Women need to understand that. Women have the capacity to play all of the roles and play it effectively. That's how we have been designed. So when it's time to mother your children and the helps and you know, everybody, you do that. When you're done with that, you keep that cap. When it's time to attend to him, you wear another cap, right? It's about finding that balance, how you are able to switch it. And I understand that it can be very uh, difficult, especially in these times where everybody's putting their hand to the plow. We're all going to work <sighs> together. We come back, we're tired. Yes, but you can make it work if you want to. And there are certain skills that you may have to learn, you may have to upgrade just to keep it there. But that's not all that makes um, the relationship uh, or sex thing continue. The man also has the ability to communicate to you to say, ah, auntie, why are you behaving? Behaving like this now. Exactly. This is not a beggar, but go and change. Like me, let me give you an instance. Uh, I love to tie wrapper. So I grew up in a semi town, township, where mm. I had the opportunity to tie. I always tie wrapper on my chest. I'll be in the kitchen cooking all day, all night, once I'm home from school with wrapper. When I got married, it was an issue. My husband did not understand why I keep tying wrapper on my chest. For me, it's easier to just take it off, right? Mm -hmm. It's easy. I'm not pulling this and pulling that. I'll just do like this and it's <laughs> out. But he didn't see it that way. So it's like a very local thing to do. Mm. When we're moving, he said, if you carry any piece of wrapper to this new place, that's <laughs> the end. Till today, I don't have wrapper anymore, mm. right? I had to go and shop for bomb shorts and everything that's your to wear. So you must have that relationship. You must be Not able to everybody talk. Has no, that. that's why we're here, to help them have it. You must have that conversation. Yeah. So you see that this person has suddenly stopped washing her panties and underwear because she's married. You tell her, no, auntie, you're not smelling. No, what's happening? You say it because you want to walk towards mm. it. But when you keep quiet and then you start becoming resentful, when she comes into the room, you are facing another direction, you are going to the palace to watch TV, before you know no, it, okay. that intimacy dies right. and the marriage is I over. I wanted to just say something. You see, the man is a very, just to uh, continue with what, what um, is, yeah. mm -hmm. he said, the man is a visual person. Mm. The woman is an emotional person. A woman does not... Yeah, you can meet a man, oh, he's fine and everything. The day that man, the fineness, money not there in pocket, it's just like one wretched thing. You will not even see the fineness again. You just see rich. <laughs> That's a woman. A man, it is not the money that the woman has that he's seeing. It's just seeing mm -hmm. the beauty. The package. Ah, hey, oh, mm -hmm. see my babe. Ah, when she don't work out like this. But but this ah, ah. <laughs> then you now start to. Get fat. Mm, no wash your. Me, I even think for me, tie a pie is sexy, especially if you tie it on your hip. Nice to tie on the chest. <laughs> no, no, that one is different. You know? So, um, he now sees this mommy. All of a sudden. Mommy, talk by. With all due respect, YK. With all due respect. Mommy. <laughs> we are mommies. And there's mommy, and there's a role for mommy. That is why Obiaji. Listen to what Obiaji do. Yeah, I've heard her. She said, mm. I've heard she said that. you can do your mommy yeah. when you are mommy, yeah. but your husband is not your son. Exactly. Going back to that, let, let, your okay, child. Okay, let me give you a scenario. It's your husband. Let, let, let me give you a scenario. So you must wear a different car. Ah, yeah. When you tie that wrapper, you tie it and you shake it in front of him, man. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, why okay. okay, I, I get that. And I Baba think, will be... I think, why will be uh -uh. Okay, why okay. I get that point. And there's, no, there's nothing wrong in that. I mean, on this show, we've been here 10 years. <laughs> why okay, what is that? You clapping hands like a village, like a village woman. What's that? Calm <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, the point... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Good morning, have a call. Come back yeah. to you. <laughs> Jessica, thanks for calling your live, please. Jessica, are you there? Okay, I think we lost them. All right, so um, let me come to you, talk with first. So um, I, I, I love that we have different perspectives, and it's important because we're dealing with different people and we're dealing with different dynamics in the relationship. So we have some husbands that can freely tell their wife, you're getting, you're adding weight, or I, I think you need to wash up better, mm. you know. Or someone was saying that um, she didn't like the fact that her husband told her to wash up after they had a session. 
and she felt him uncomfortable and she expressed it. And since then, the man did not know what to say again. Hey, so I had a conversation with the man. The man was saying that, I don't know how to tell my wife she's having wits. And I said, I can't you not know how to tell. Just say it. Hey. He said, but if you say, you are, the, the dress is tight. She will say, so you mean I've become fat? If you say, we just start going to the gym. She will say, I'm, I, you mean you don't like me the way I am? <laughs> or she, if you say, she, um, she, should, she should diet a bit, that there's no way you can say it. Without that will not trouble. affect her person or make it look like you are displeased with who she is or give her an identity crisis. So the, when he expressed it, and I said truthfully, how would you, if you have a relationship that you are being careful like this, it puts that man on the spot because I love my wife. I feel she's amazing. I can see that she's having some challenges at work. He's making her eat more and she's adding weight. Right. And I don't know how to say it that will not make her mm. turn to a backlash. Yeah. That's a situation. And, and for some people, they cannot, and they are close, and they like each other, and that's why they cannot say it. So we need to, to find a way to address such situation in a way that I am, we're going to say something very sensitive, but please know it's from a place of love, mm. so that I can address that situation. Let me take this call from Jessica. Good morning, Jessica from Port Harcourt. You're live. Hello, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good Our good first morning. female caller today. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. Only men have been talking to us since. Go ahead. <laughs> it's not my first time. I've been calling. Oh, oh. yeah, first female. I know, first female today. <laughs> Yes, okay. I would say that um, there is a huge lot of unsettled differences. You know, we just heard from the baby, and we also need to hear from the man. Because when, like White Clay rightly said, if there is no communication, they don't converse, mm -hmm. it will lead to, you know, a huge lot of differences. One, you were not uh, in good tune, in good tune for a, a month. From a month went to a year, and then mm. you got for three years. Three years. No, no, no. There's something, something is definitely wrong. I would say they have a huge lot of settled differences. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So let, let, I was going to use um, myself as an example because in the early days of your view, we used to talk about the fact that Maria doesn't own bomb shows. I used to mm. wear boobo around the house, which was me because I was mumming. Mm. Because we were going through life and things were happening in life and <coughs> you have to just deal with the issues. So, but with your influences and support and everything, yes, I have I've, I've evolved. But the truth is that, I mean, I was telling you guys recently that my pastor was advising me that I should be more girly. I'm just so, you know, my, even my presence, you know. You see, but you see, should, my, my, my question is, should that affect, if, if somebody is going through that in their own marriage, where the woman is in charge, maybe you're the MD of the company and you have all these people, and it's, you come back to the house, it's really difficult to change roles. As much as you say, I'm not a, a wife, but the man's interpretation, even though you change your role as a wife, mm. the man already sees you as the MD mm. of that company. So Anything his perception say, of, 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 of you strong. is so strong. Mm. Now, should that affect the... Um, sexuality? I don't know. What do you guys think? So, um, I, you were busy. Perception. You, you wanted to come for the feminine energy. This was what we dealt with, mm. you know, that Saturday event that we had. Um, a lot of women operate more in their masculine energy. Masculine energy is good. We're supposed to, as human beings, we have the balance of both the feminine and the masculine energy. The masculine energy is logical, is goal-oriented, is the energy you use to achieve in the workplace and be the boss, like you just mentioned. But, um, when you are done with being the boss and you get home, it's pretty difficult to have a very sweet relationship with your partner if you don't know how to switch back to your feminine energy. I'm naturally more masculine when I'm outside, right? I'm going to give you an example. When I'm outside, I'm very masculine. How I deal with people, I'll do my business and all of that. When I get home, there's a switch. So when we went for your book lunch, uh, we met the deputy governor, right? And my husband introduced himself. And the deputy governor said, your wife must be a very tough woman. And he said, no. On the contrary, she's the opposite. The deputy governor did not believe. When we mm -hmm. get, got into the car, my husband's like, what perception do people have of you? You are <laughs> the sweetest human being that I know. <laughs> we have to change that perception. I said, leave it. There's nothing I can do. It's the energy that I bring outside. But that's not the energy I have inside. Mm. In, when it comes to my relationship with my partner, I am always a damsel in distress. <laughs> hey. I am feminine to the core. Mm. So that's, that's the aspect of me that he sees, mm. but that's not the aspect of me that he sees outside. Ah. So it's something that you can change outside. that you see outside. It's something you can change at the energy level because the, the, the two polarities mm. cannot work together. It's mm. like your battery. 
your positive and your negative. Mm. Everybody has those sides. And what keeps attraction in a relationship right. for a long time that it seems like your husband is still chasing you after so many years is that opposite. Hey. So when you now come home as a boss and a mother, he's seeing a man mm. at the energy level. Mm. Two of ah. you are now becoming men. Everything and if care is not taken, if care is not taken, Hmm. He becomes, he goes in his feminine energy hmm. and you're doing more of the work. Ah. That's where the thing is. Hmm. So a lot of people need to be aware of some of this information. That. A few of our mothers had the skill. Hmm. They didn't know what it was called. Hmm. They had the skill. They knew they were helping. Even the first advice I got before I got married was from an elderly woman who just okay. told me something? Let me pause you. Let them me. pay for the rest. Let them go and pay for your session. Because, I mean, right now, this is not... I have to be just, we'll this come, when we come yeah, back. Because know. this is... But well, this is a very, very, very Deep. impactful yeah. um, information you just gave us. Because a lot of women are taking it mm -hmm. in and able to how, learn how to differentiate. But, I'll well, let's go. We're going to come back. I need to give you... Come back with Brett. Write it that way, so you don't forget. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Girl. Then they now invited us to La Campagne for their anniversary or something. Yeah. I can't remember what we went for, but we went. Ah, that's how I saw Mr. Ogbo in action. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ogbo was talking. Ah, and BC kept quiet. Oh, but actually, didn't say. Quim, quim. <laughs> so just looking. <laughs> he was talking. I said, eh. ah, so, so when we entered the room, I said, ah. You see, you did you see that Obia Julie didn't say yeah, Obia Julie will be shouting on set. <laughs> when... All her, all her throat will be out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> be like, let me finish. Let me. When her husband was there, she calmed down. Bim, yeah. bim, did not come out of her mouth. <laughs> he was, he was just talking. Right. So that's the feminine energy that has been one that she's, she's a damsel. Example that's just that observing. She's yeah, giving that's us that. Right. I okay. I agree that it is true. Okay. <laughs> because but, I've seen it. <laughs> because I've seen it. <laughs> All right, let me come to you, Sakwe. So, um, so I, I'll, I'll say this that. Oh, Mabi, you know. yeah. Titi, please, thanks for calling, for holding for a minute. Good morning, Titi, are you there? Good morning, lady. You're live. Go ahead, please. All right, thank you. I want to contribute to the topic that we're talking about. Please. It's actually a very serious topic. And it happens to a lot of people you would not know. I first know somebody that has been married. And the person has only had sex for, with her husband only twice in two years. And I was talking with them because they're church people and I'm in charge of the um, relationship and all of that in my church. So I was trying to talk to the female, the, more, the wife. What's going on? Is it that he doesn't like you? Is it that he doesn't like it? I was even thinking, are you sure he's not turning to the other side? Are you sure he's not attracted to female and all of that? Because I was worried. And what she told me was that he doesn't know how to go about it. <clears throat> that they have to kind of even teach each other where the place is, where to go in and all of that. So I feel like before marriage, this thing should be taught in church. We should mm. stop talking about it, not okay, sacred topic. I think we should really talk about it. Mm. If you are going to marry this baby, maybe you should check out the package and then I don't know how it's going to be taught. Yeah. But we need to talk about it. And after marriage is important too. Please don't just leave them married. Let's have this after one year counseling. Let somebody talk the real thing. Let's let us be practical. Yeah. And seriously, men don't do this excess right. thing that females put on Instagram when they don't have money. Mm. Instagram life is somehow fake. Right. Because if I have it fantastic, oh, I'm not saying, but I'm saying 20% of people are fantastic, the glamorous way you're thinking. People Thank you very much, Titi. You see, Titi just talked about cluelessness mm. on the part of a lot of men. Ignorance. Mm. Ignorance. Yeah. Mm. They, they actually don't know. Yeah. Mm. And they are, too, um, they are too egoistic to admit or to seek knowledge. Know, yeah. Because as a man, I'm expected to know. So they can't come across as if I don't know. And you don't, have, you don't know, Jack. Mm. You know? So instead of them to go and seek knowledge, they rather just keep quiet and then suffer their wife. Who then is, so cannot... Th that was why them. I had to address a caller that called in from Taraba because... The way he made the statement it was a fact to him. Mm. And I'm sure many people listening to him will be validating that fact, thinking that it was the fact. It's not. And we need to keep on using this platform to share that knowledge. Um, we, we get this feeling like you cannot, you can't switch, you can't make the switch, what BC was saying, make the switch. And five years ago, I attended Tara's <coughs> 40th birthday. She was doing a countdown a full week. 
and, she, and her husband spoke about the fact that um, what, what one of the things that kept, keeps their marriage was the fact that um, Tara is strong Tara outside. And Tara at home makes him feel like... He's the hero. Like he's the king. Mm. He said, I feel needed mm. when, when I'm with her. Mm. Like, and I like that feeling. Yeah, so when, when, he, when he broke down how he felt and how feeling that way helps him feel more like I'm contributing towards you. Like I know that she understands business. She does business on a big scale. She's Makes doing money. deals. She's traveling to bring in products. But when, I, when she comes to the house, she's talking to me. She, there's a difference in how she listens and how she integrates. And mm. when I heard it, I understood it. I did not understand how to implement it completely, but I knew it was powerful to a man because it was one of the key things he mentioned as a strength in their marriage. Yeah. I think when we're having conversations like this, it, we've gone away from the issue of sexual, um, um, the fact that they were not having sex for three, for three years <clears throat> to all the underlying issues that can that lead to caused, this. Yes. Yeah. We have a culture of not talking about our challenges. We have a culture of not talking about the other room matters. Mm. We also have a culture of feeling like it is an intimate thing. So it That's is only science. meant for, yes, it's only meant for the other room. And for those that are religious, it is worse. There are people that have understood how to discuss sexual therapy professionally. Like they would break it down in a professional way and they should be consulted. There are seasons in marriage. Yeah. People go through marriage and there are times when everything is shocking them. And at times they're not interested. And they are having those seasons. Three hours is too long ago. Having those seasons yeah, is normal. It's normal. And you, it's important to have knowledge to navigate those seasons. Yeah. Yeah. So if we all sit down and feel like we have it all figured out, we are missing out on no, the opportunity. Does, yeah. I want us to stay yeah, on but the three years is too long. Ago. No, three years. Why can't you even one year? No, why can't why can't somebody Nine. actually told me three years? I know somebody who was supposed to be a coach. I mean, the, was, was a coach, and we we're just having a conversation. And he did tell me three years mm -hmm. because he was going through an issue at the time. I mean, mm -hmm. but eventually they, they resolved their issue. But just like sometimes you, can, you can't, we can't put a figure to it. Sometimes time, it, 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 that, it's longer. But I was going to talk about the spiritual part because aside from the ignorance, some people feel that because I am on the mountain, because I am close to God, because there are lots of I really I, I, I hate to say this, but there are lots of ministers families that are going through this. Yes, yeah. so. I don't we want to know. say pastor because everybody has brandished the word pastor. But, mm -hmm. but when I say minister, it could be minister in songs, ministry in ushering, yeah. ministry in pulpits, different kind of ministers. People who are spiritual leaders are going through this where they, they try to consecrate themselves <laughs> for the Lord. And then their wives are being denied. And then the women cannot open their mouth so say it. to say it because mm -hmm. they feel like they will think I am, it's that the me. devil has... Taking, taking over, over my mind. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are living in serious, um, she's living in serious pain. We've had these stories, but people do it on a hush hush. We need to normalize like, saying more pastors being intimate more or more being you see, close. Why, if I say three years is too long, yeah. three years is too long without communicating yeah. the to challenge. your partner yeah. Yeah. that this is the reason. This is the I, I, either I have to go to the mountain or I'm on the mountain or I'm under the mountain. Mm -mm. You have to communicate. Yeah. That's why I say communication is key. Yeah. Don't tell me three years. It's not too long. It is too long without telling me why you are, you are, you are not coming near me for yeah. three years. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. I'm not saying three years is not too long. I'm just saying let's not put a figure. To it. it could be any time. It could be three yeah. years. People actually have gone through that. And mm. it's wrong. You're yeah, right. Yes. So I saw a picture of um, so my pastors hug and kiss each other on the pulpits. And when, people, when they do it, they're like, oh. And they said, why, why, why can't we do it? So, because if we don't normalize it, it will look like it is a it's strange a thing. thing. Mm. Someone, um, Pastor Godman Akilabi, posted a picture after a very heated spiritual conference, kissing his wife <clears throat> on Instagram. Like, which pastor is that one? Godman Akilabi. Elevation really Church. Really? Not like a video, but it was a picture. Kiss. It wasn't like all those, pet. not a pet. You know? So when I saw the picture, I was like, Pastor. The spiritual part of me was like, ah, ah was pastor. Nice. And on that, I said, after a, a heated. heated conference, like, and thinking about it now, 
it was important that he puts it out there. Sorry, I don't want to see so my pastor kissing. So that we stop. Why? I don't want to see my pastor kissing. I'm sorry. But I it, told you about the, the Bishop Samuel that we I met. We should stop it. We should normalize it. I don't want to see my pastor kissing. That's why they don't talk about it. It's not only a human being. It's a human being. No, listen. You listen. You have a symbol. There's a symbol that is attached to you. I don't want to. You are the people that are giving them the symbol. Yes. You are the people spoiling you. Symbolize. I told you. I saw. I saw. I met that bishop. You symbolize. Um, 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 the, the Holy Spirit. You symbolize wow. God on earth. You wow. symbolize everything in the word of God. Wow. So you are the person we look at. I don't want to see my pastor kiss. What is that? Mm. You see, wow. you are the people spoiling this Thank world. Thank you, YK. Tell them. You are spoiling this world. Did you ever see? Did you ever see? Let me just keep quiet. Yeah, the ones making them hypocrites. I told you I met a bishop. Mm -hmm. I met him and his wife. They, they have been married for a long time. And yes. the way they were holding themselves, the love that they were showing each other. That's fine. Yeah. Not public display of affection like she just described. No. He said, post accelerates romantic moves with my girlfriend. Oshé. Grateful to God for the successful let me see. I bring it. Let me Since see. I'm going to this church next Sunday. Bring now, that's a peck now. That was not a peck. Was, was that, no, that, that was not a peck. peck. It was yeah, not. Don't miss him. Oh, I was opening <laughs> it back for <laughs> you. Okay. So let me explain. I want to see. So go ahead. So go ahead. Right here. Go ahead, Mikey. Uh, oh, uh, that's so that was sweet. sweet. And we need to normalize it. Sweet, yeah. okay. Uh, 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 that's, that's a peck. That's a peck on the lips. <laughs> that's a peck on the <laughs> lips. That's what it is. You know what a kiss is. You know what a kiss is. This is this. This is fine. If my pastor does this. It's perfectly fine. But I don't want. When he said kiss, I was thought it was geese. This was not geese. I knew I peck on the lips. Like, next, so it's, as we're saying. So the point. So the point I'm trying to make is that the spiritual part of it is hard, mm. and, and 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 we must also also help these women. The women, the wives of these ministers, mm. they are, many of them are actually suffering. Okay. So, in may I regard. say that um, when it comes to marriage relationships and issues, the scripture said, and two of them shall be naked mm. and not ashamed. Do you know what that means? It's not just about lying on the bed after the action, Aprita. right? <laughs> it means that two of you can get to a place where you are vulnerable with each other where you are able to share with each other. Okay. And if you do not have that vulnerability in that marriage, you have to rethink what you're doing in that relationship. Because there, must be, there will be times in every relationship where you, are, you, you have issues that you need somebody to unburden to. Right. And if you cannot unburden to your partner, uh, the point that she raised, you know, when some things are going wrong and a man is afraid of how to communicate it to the wife because of how she would feel, it's also something that we need to begin to work on. If I cannot tell you that, brother, what you just did now did not reach anywhere, I don't know what I'm doing with you. Mm. Because I will not tell you, I will tell an outsider. Mm. Mariah, mm. guess what? He was, just, he was just wasting his time. I did not mm. feel one thing. Mm. I can share with friends. And I cannot share with you. There's a problem. Yeah. There's a problem. So we need to begin to ask yourselves yeah. questions like, am I in this for real? Right. Am I naked with this guy mm. and not ashamed? And am I ready? To be to, yes. Yeah, am yeah. I ready to be there? Absolutely. Am I ready to go there with this yeah. person? Mm. If I'm not ready to go there with this person, I don't know what you're doing in that relationship. Yeah. We need to reevaluate it. That's and coach. also, talking. and yeah. also, <laughs> when these things come, mm. whether it hits you or not. So naturally, uh, one of my long languages is words of affirmation. Right. That means that when you say things that are not pleasant, it hits me. Mm. Right. When it hits you. Mm. The first thing you ask yourself because you have chosen to trust this person is, where is this coming from? What's the intention behind this? Mm. There's nothing my husband will tell me today that will take it upside down. You know why? Because I trust his intentions. Yes. I know that he will not see fire and push me into it. Mm. If he complains about it, it's because he wants me to be better. Yeah. Do you trust your partner enough to understand that he, she's not just saying it to make you feel like, ah, these two minutes that you just did now is not enough to bring down your ego. Mm. She's saying it from a point of, we can actually work on it to improve it. Mm. Can you trust your partner? Yeah, you, you can trust your partner and still be hurt our, by our what they producer. said. No, you'll be you hurt. Can hurt. No, listen now. I you said, can have a color. Uh, it's, it's valid, though. I'm saying it's valid. I am hurt, mm. right? But I would think that mm. because I trust your intention, mm. I will work on my being hurt and mm. move away from it. Everybody gets hurt from time to time. So no, our, our producer is asking, to move away from it. At how many months should you be worried? So, <laughs> so, 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 so let, me, let me quickly say this. Before you because say that, let me take this call. Ola Rewaji from London, thanks for calling. You're live. Hello, good morning. Good morning, yes. sir. Yes, um, it's three things that I, I, I can point out here. I think number one, um, 
And my sister has already said it a year me kuti. Then the first one that I will put through that people always they don't want to talk about. Mm. Either the man is attractive to the same um, female uh, male, that is a different bogey. Mm. No, people don't want to talk about it. Yeah? Mm. The man might be getting satisfied outside. Yeah? Or the, uh, the lady, the wife, attractive to another lady. Mm. When she gets home, she says, oh, I'm tired. I don't want to. Because she has already satisfied herself. Mm. That's number one. Mm. Number two, um, my sister, Yemi uh, Kuti, said money. You no, know, sometimes maybe twenty percent of that we carry the money. Wife, if you are not happy at home, some people their body doesn't move. I agree with that. Then number three, the way you enjoy yourself in the bedroom. The the, the wife might like to go into the deep, like uh, you know, leave the place. Hey, Uncle, Do please, this. it's not it's breakfast. Hey, Father in heaven. Mr. Larry, the yeah, breakfast show, please, take it easy. I'm coding it. That's why I'm coding it. I'm coding it. I'm coding it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not coding it enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then the man doesn't like it. Yeah. And the women sometimes like the other way, like the man likes the... So they are not compatible so. in that Education. area. Thank you, Mr. Larry, Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. So I think the point I want to make is that there are, you must learn what satisfies each other and you do what satisfies each other properly. And there's a journey. <laughs> so um, I think it was, I'm trying to, it was um, Sorry, lots of seven years. No, okay. I was trying to calculate the time. It was, mm -hmm. it was about seven, eight years ago that I um, did NLP life coaching and it put me under a lot of pressure to, I felt like I was not doing the right things because I just, my, eye, my eyes became open to, all the things that how we should be and it's changed the dynamics of my marriage for a while mm. because i was now critiquing every little thing mm. and if what should be a blessing now became a challenge and the reason i'm saying this is because people are people are watching this show and listen to bc and extrain their marriage through the lens of this new knowledge mm. and it might cause crisis instead of blessing if you are not if you're not wise in how you expect the implementation of what you now see as what should be the ideal mm. So when we get the knowledge, how are we going to implement it in Filter our marriage? Filter it through your yes. own experience. How do we implement it to our marriage? So you, you want mm -hmm. that naked, unashamed honesty in your marriage. Are you already there? Or are you the problem? Or are you now seeing the partner as the problem? Are you vulnerable with the partner? Or are you taking... You, are, you want to be able to give the feedback of two minutes not being good enough, but you don't want to take it back off. Your, cook, your, food, your food is not sweet enough. So if we want to be open how far are we willing to go with being that open that's one side another side is give yourself the time to grow through that journey and don't jump the pace yeah. so you might be in a space where you and your husband are still struggling with your communication yeah. you might need to be exposing him to more of the knowledge you're getting you might need to find him a coach or someone that you believe he respects enough to advise him it might be you that needs to receive that knowledge. And the man is wondering, how do I process this information yeah. to my partner? Be willing to wait through that journey till you get it. But three years is definitely yeah, too absolutely. long. Okay. So I think, I think it's important, as, as we're gradually coasting home mm. for this topic, um, a few things I have learned personally is I now, from, from BC's mm. coaching, is that I need to bring out my feminine energy. <laughs> I have a bit of masculine. Because, I mean, I remember when, when because I called my husband brown, brown, brown. I think my father, was someone that just called me, auntie. Are you calling him brown like everybody else? Hey, he's brown now. I say no. You have to find a different because That's you it. are you are you are just so your your presence your your well, what you've done what the, you the do, way you call does not invoke doesn't invoke emotion. that fem, yes it doesn't invoke femininity it doesn't mm. invoke invoke it doesn't your invoke role that, yeah mm. so it's too it doesn't plain invoke love yes yes <laughs> so I just call him brown brown you know yeah. but you see it's things that we're learning so and from this show and from the conversation with BC Mariah needs to turn on her feminine energy. To be able to get to the you point have. where I don't even have any energy. Everybody, <laughs> everybody has. Everybody has. Everybody find it. I have. Everybody Who find has. it? And she let's find it. Let's find it. Not now. No, no, no. Oh, oh, it's not oh God, it's 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 Try, it's try to be feminine now. Just. I don't know. She will have to go through some some things. She has to go through some therapy. It's hard. So, so um.
what I've learned in life, and one of the reasons why I don't um, blame people for my reality and how my life turns out mm. is because I take responsibility right, for my yeah, actions. Right. And in taking responsibility for it, we're always running away from the hard times. Yeah. They will come. For anyone who has noticed, okay, probably from what they have said on TV today, yeah. ah, I think in x ray in my life, this is what I've been doing wrong, this is what I've been doing wrong, and you're ready to make a change, you will hit hard times. Yeah. Because you are the only one that heard it. Your husband mm. did not hear it with you. Mm. So going to cause that change is not automatic. Mm. You will take a process. You need to be patient about it. Mm. You need to really know what you're getting into. You right. need to seek for more information and more clarification because there's no one size fits all. I don't yeah. tell people, if you come to me, I'll give you this blanket and everybody can use it and it works. No, you have the capacity to bring out your solutions by yourself. Right. The only thing I will do is to help you get there. So if you... Pick an information that I present in this kind of thing, and you run away with it. This year I said, this year I said, you should not put me in problem in your house. So <laughs> okay. I did not say yeah. I was giving my opinion. Yeah. If you need further clarifications, you can get always one come on back one coaching. and get one on one, and then understand how to apply it with your current right. experiences mm -hmm. and situation. Oh. Do not blame anybody. They said, and I did, and it backfired. You <laughs> okay. did not hear from me. You did okay. not do it well. Let me take, oh, I have to read this message. Yakub, thanks for calling. You're live. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, good morning, everyone. This matter not the concern, Yakub, now, but go ahead. Hello, good morning. Go ahead, Yakub, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Mara, you see, this uh, live show, this very topic uh, is very, very important uh, because uh, somebody called from London earlier and then he said that uh, we are live shows, there are some certain things that uh, uh, we cannot say. Uh, Moriah, you see, this very particular topic, for me, it affects a lot of, quote-unquote, religious people. Religious people, because uh, there is something, that, that some, there are some certain people in uh, Islam, you call them Eleha, I don't know maybe you know the meaning of what I'm saying. They pass through a lot. They pass through a lot. Uh, and then one of your, your, your person in that studio said, how many months? that somebody needs to wait before he or she started complain. I think one month is okay. After one month, something will happen. You have to complain. Let me give you a, 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 a typical example here. Even I'm using myself, that's my, that's my experience. There was a time in the other room, let me use that word, in the other room, I asked my partner to do some other way, right? She was not there, ah, I found a lady. Hey, where did you learn like this from? This one from? I, I, I told her, come. Does it mean because I'm a far, I shouldn't know this kind of a thing? He said, where did you learn this from? I told him, wait, wait, I'm coming. I did that, I have, I have one book. I not brought that book out. I show her different, different positions. He said, yes, it, how did you get it? So, there are some certain things that we, we people are honestly know what, because they, 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 they claim to be a religious person and then you don't need to know, you don't need to know that. After one month, if nothing happens, you have to begin to complain. Ask question. Why did you not touch me? And then if you does not do that, you have to, you have to know the reason why it does not do that. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you guys. Thank you very much, Thank Yaku. you. Thank that was you. very insightful for an imam yeah. to speak like that. Yes. That's quite insightful. Yes. And especially for hijabites. Mm. Because people always feel like, oh, because they are so... They're religious and they're not into, into, into stuff like that. But something. he's saying that, listen, you, once you are in your room, that you, you, are, you can explore. I wish Nima was here, but unfortunately she's not here today. It's nice to hear from her. Yeah, um, I'm sure she's listening. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> <Why? laughs> so, um, this is Corinthians 7, 5. It says, do not deprive one one another except perhaps by agreement mm. for a limited time yeah. that you may devote yourselves to, to God, yeah. but then, but then come together again so that Satan may not tempt you mm. because of your lack of self-control. Mm. Agreement is the solution anytime, any day. Mm. That's what don't I scatter your home implied. in the name of foolishness. Mm. That's not spirituality. Bisi mentioned that That's what I earlier. Um, what I, I also think that is important to, have a, to be a member of a community. So um, there, there's something that Maria was saying that when she started the show. She spoke about rapper. I think YK bought her. Were you the one who bought you the first? Somebody bought me some yeah, somebody, on, somebody from one of the ladies then bought you a shot for you to wear in the house. The power of community and the right community is that you get positive influence. You get to share. 
Because it's not everything that you can, you should even be sending to a random person or telling a random another person. I've spoken to Nima and I know the way Nima coaches people within those, their sisters group. So they are a jabite, but they are doing, they are performing some stunts. Ah, yes. In, and, they, and they explain it in detail yeah. within yeah, that community. community. Yeah. Because it is, a, it is a safe space. Mm. They talk about what to do, what not to do. But you can be a Muslim, but you are not in a community that you can be vulnerable with. Yeah. So you are a Christian, you go to church, but you don't attend those meetings with men, where men talk about these things. Yeah. You are missing out on the opportunity to see that you are not the only one suffering the problem or get solutions. So I think that this isolation thing of it's a private thing should be, we should reduce it and be in a space where you can talk to your yeah. friends about things like this. We are all uh, in a slimmer yeah. version of ourselves this year. Why? We're yeah, in a community yeah. and it's rubbing, rubbing off each, each other. other that everybody is watching this, their ways. You see, saying, eh? you see, in modern churches, like this is your elevation church, this is your, what's your own this day star. Star. You know, there's modern, you you the church. there are some churches that they're very orthodoxish and they are, and it's hard to get that community of more, I don't want to say more modern perspectives. You no, know, so yeah. they'd like to do things in a very, um, uh, what's the word? Um, if, what's that word for Republicans? Conservative. Yeah. Mm. They're conservative. very conservative, conservative Christians. You might build your own. You know? So in that conservativeness, it's hard for you to be expressive. Mm. So you, you, are, you, are, you, you, are, you look very empowered and expressive because of the kind because of church, of your church. you go to. Yeah. But there are some people that go to that church where you dare not. You don't you allow that kind of conversation. Are you okay? yeah, yeah. So, so wow. that, that's the stigma and shame around sex. And that's why a lot of women. Like but is it yeah, an English word now? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I did not explain it. I just said it. You know. So and that's why a lot of um, Christians are not forthcoming because there's this uh, sin. Mm. It's been baked in between sin. Mm. So baked in between sin that even married partners find it difficult to explore their bodies because yeah. they are told that this one is sin. And where they saw it in the Bible, me, I've not seen. I've been reading that mm. Bible since. That this one is sin and this one is not sin. So there's this, no, we can't do this. We can't get to this point. We can't talk about it. Yeah. And then you're expecting people to not suffer in okay, that kind married, of... Yes. Married. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not possible. Let me pause you for a second. Okay. Sorry, Mabino. I have a call from Jeremiah. Thanks for calling. Thank you, Mariah. Thank you. You're live. Yeah, um, fantastic show. I must commend all of you for the point. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I want to I want to say thank you for to BC for mentioning that talk about men being trained to box, you know, whatever they are feeling, mm. because that has been one of the reasons why you have men battering women, men abusing women emotionally because they have not been trained to really bring out what is in them. Yeah. You know, this woman just brought out what is in her. We don't really know what is in the mind of the man to even help him. So there is help available, but it's very difficult for you to even offer the help because you don't even know what is really wrong with him. Mm. And I would say that every behavior we have observed with our five senses is just an external expression of what has What's already been on? happening in the mind of the yeah. person neurologically. True. True. So these behaviors just give us like an information about what is happening and until really? we do what this is said about going to therapy, going to seek help, you would never even know how to even help them because one party is willing, the other party is not willing. Mm. Okay, so I, I love the fact that um, people are being enlightened to understand that their behaviors, they are not their behaviors. Yeah. Mm. They are just expressing what has happened to them over time, okay. which with help. If they go seek for help, they can be able to get help and then get out of that thing. All right, thank you very much, Jeremiah. So yes, if, I was, if, I was this adding... This lady that sent us the email, if she, she's listening to the show and she tries to communicate with her husband now... And he shuts and, it down. And he shuts her down. If she refuses to get therapy, he refuses everything. Yeah. What does she do? He has question. to decide. Mo moving into that uh, phase that's now. The yeah. So the, the choice he still has at the end of the day. She has to decide, do I stay in this relationship sexless, no intimacy, and face my life? There are people who have done it. Well, we should just say cheating is off the table. Yeah. Okay, let's say, okay. Cheating in the marriage, unless it's agreed by both of them. What if the man has been cheating? Hmm. Uh, well... But we don't know. The, two don't wrongs know. don't make it right. I know, exactly. but <laughs> so there are people who have come to an. See, marriage is changing these days, and it's unfortunate, right? The marriage we were 
taught. Mm. The marriage we all looked to have was mm. the marriage of that close-knit yeah. mommy, daddy, mm -hmm. children raised in a sane society. But right now, we've seen marriages that the wife, husband and wife would decide, you are going outside, Abby, can I go? We are not leaving this house because we want to raise our children. The children will not know. Just carry your craze far from home. I carry my craze far from home. And they have that agreement. We've seen open marriages. Unfortunately, I heard that even in Nigeria, open marriages are working. Yeah, they, some people spotted some it's, persons, some prominent persons who are actually doing it in Nigeria. So if she has that conversation with her husband, the husband says, Sio, I don't feel anything for you again. One of the reasons I'm still keeping you in this house is because I don't want to destabilize our children. Can you find a way to help yourself? Will you call it cheating? Mm. No. They, they must get to that Remember what point. I said. Yeah. Remember, Mike, I said, if she tries to communicate with her husband, mm. and he shuts, and he it shuts down. her down, mm -hmm. so she hasn't got the solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's she, she hasn't got the solution from him mm -hmm. because he is not willing to do yeah. the work. To seek yeah. So he, he has um, to help. choose. She, she has, she to, has to choose. She has to choose. Should I exactly. stay here and live like this I, for the rest of my life? What I said, in that case, I live. Um, cheating is not an option. Yes. You know? yeah. But she I can said. wait it out. Because some people do say, for, for, for the first uh, few years of my marriage, nothing happened, but eventually, things got, maybe financially, financially stable, financial stability came back, mm. and things got, the circumstances changed. And maybe that... So, that so I have a problem happen. with that, uh, right? If I am married to you, mm. right, and you have financial issues, mm. and I can, you cannot trust me enough to hold your hand, mm. you cannot trust me enough to put your head on my chest, mm -hmm. that I will give, I will pray with my heart, I will lift up my hands up to heaven, that God should come and bless you, that we'll walk through it together. I don't know what I'm doing in that relationship. I honestly don't understand. Okay. So if you, I know men, naturally, when they have issues, they like to isolate to themselves mm. and solve it. Women are more... Uh, connected, open to, open to sharing. But if you're married mm. to me, I'm mm. supposed to be your safe refuge for crying mm. out loud. Mm. So if you can sort your issues by yourself, wait till you are ready, you are sorted before you come to me, then I am useless in that relationship, mm. unfortunately. Okay. But and I can't be there. That would be the ideal. <sighs> that, there. That's ideal, and very few have ideal. Yeah. And many people have found ways to manage and maximize what yes. they have. Some people just because they are married to people who are, have, have their traumas that they probably would never get um, healed from. Healed from. Mm -hmm. So you as a person married into that relationship would have to find a way to deal with the challenges you would always have to face. Um, so let's provide solutions within that context. In providing solutions within the context of you, you're, you're married to someone mm -hmm. and there's this three years gap and you are now faced with, he's not going to get professional help in any form. No, don't expect somebody to make that decision for you because the good and the bad, you have to carry it. If you are displeased with the way things are, how, how, what, what are you, how far are you willing to go to, to change the circumstances? For some, it is, I'll leave this marriage so that I can have peace, so that I can have joy, and I can open myself up to the other person. Maybe, there's an, maybe my match is right out there. You know, some people believe in the rib, of the rib twin flame, all those different things. So maybe that my own person is out there and I am sticking to this because it is safe and I understand it and I might be missing out on the better, sweeter marriage that is waiting for me in the future. If you, ha if you can convince yourself of that, you might be taking the option of divorce. And if you feel that I will be in this marriage and my solution will be cheating, that's not right. That's, That's not, not right. Yeah, yeah. I would rather your solution yeah. is I will step yeah. out of this space. Either you step out or you manage it. Or because manage listen, it. as I said, we've had mothers and people who have been in this situation where they just stayed there and they were there forever. They just accept. They just shut their, their hearts That's and minds. That's part of their life. Yes. Because right. I know people who... The painful thing. They, to if the man is to cheating... A modern, wait, wait. Listen, to a modern woman, it's a painful thing. But back then, the our mothers is, accepted yes. it and they were okay with it. If a man is cheating and you are supposed to be there without resorting to cheating, why are we leave. deceiving? Leave now. You should leave. But some people don't want to leave. Mm. So, it's also your choice. Anyways, some people have don't to want to up. leave. Uh, Let me just list I'm, I'm still then. saying two wrongs don't make a right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because he's cheating doesn't mean you have children mm -hmm. that are looking up to you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me, I think I have many things. I have about 10 no, things that have been said out already. <laughs> so let me just listen. So the causes of these no, um, right. issues we, had, we, discussed, we discussed about. If you, have, if you pick one or two causes from here... You can then find a solution. Solutions are, we'll, we'll try to see, discuss a few solutions now. Very quickly, we have, um, if, number one is no money financial. Number two, sexual incompatibility. Number three, um, she needs to check herself. Number four, unsettled differences. Number five, sexual orientation. Maybe they become gay. Number six, infidelity. Number seven, spirituality, because they are, they are, they are very spiritual. <laughs> Religious. Number eight, uh, mothering him, which was a big one. Mm -hmm. Number nine is being... Um, 
ignorant or clueless. And number 10 is uh, multiple sexual experience in the past. So these are the 10 things we have, we have identified this morning as causes a full why people... As in... Serious class. You know, so in. Now, solutions has been conversation. Mm -hmm. Have a talk. That's one. And then you decide what you want to do. Communication is key. Like that's the only way you can really solve this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, and or so after, after, we tried, after communication has broken therapy, down... Therapy? You can Maybe. now, you can seek therapy. Mm -hmm. Therapy is one way to get professionals in this regard. But you see, the women are always willing to take prof to their professional help. The men? the men are hardly. So we need more men in this space to come out and speak. Mm. We need more philadrotes. We need more Larry Lucialas. We need more of um, Shoryu. We need more, we need more people, men, men yeah. who are speaking and helping other men in this regard to, so, to, to help them resolve these issues. Mm. And then after therapy, then you as an adult, keep, communicate, keep the communication. You also make your own decision. As yeah. Once you know that the problem is not from you, mm. because you've tried, you've opened the communication, you have brought out your feminine energy, <laughs> mm. you have, done you all have that everything, you, you have discussed, you called everybody, come and help you, and nothing has happened. You then decide, I either wait it out and just accept it, lock my body to and shut down <laughs> and just raise my children and be, in, and be happy, or what a life. you decide, no, you can't say what a life. But I, I, I think some people actually have a true life story that is the that is that's not good for counseling. That's, 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 that's her. That's her. But there's some people, it's fine. That. It's fine. I know someone personally, like seriously, the man has begged and begged and begged, let's go for counseling. And the woman has refused to. Mm. He's a woman that doesn't want to go this Yes, she doesn't want to go for counseling. Yeah. Wow. And this is the issue. Intimacy oh. is the issue as well. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and, and the reason she doesn't is like it? She doesn't, she doesn't like it. She's, feel, she's always overworked and she's not in the mood. So they've, yeah. they've found a way to keep on resolving yeah. the issue. I, I actually caught the person cheating, yeah. the man, and I now, like, I prefer, pref preferred solution and the solution was, was not going to work. So the man said I, the solution for him was to continue cheating until she wakes she, up. She wakes up and gets ready. I feel sad, but yeah. ah, there was no there's a comment, comment message for you, Murayo. Yeah. I can read the message Nam. well. Read says, the message well. It says, <laughs> Murayo, you can call him Brown Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> well, Woo! No, actually, I've, saved the name. I've saved his name, Brown Sugar, on my but phone. But you never use the sugar. Brown I sugar. called his name, is say Brown Sugar, on my phone. Yeah, brown sugar. sugar. Brown Sugar, yeah, on my phone. That's the sugar. <laughs> Please, stop. And now, my you husband is from Ekiti. They have a way of saying that. All right, Ekiti. They don't know that. They don't have a way Listen, all these Ekiti men, they don't understand. Stop saying this. Let him be strong outside. My husband is very, very. He will not be lovey dovey inside. We'll tell you, Abeka, Abeka, Abeka. Forget that thing. Activate your sugar, please. You will see that. You will just smell. Bring out the sugar in me. Okay, we'll try. You'll be melting. 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 Then you just go home today. A few times you won't initially trust you like that. Hey, what's going on here? But uh, Obi Adjuni, it's, it's not the way she will say brown sugar. No, it's brown, brown sugar. sugar. Brown we sugar. Brown change sugar. the voice. It's brown, yeah, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Uh -huh. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to it. You forget you are 62 years old. Right? Okay. Calm so down. Long suffering. Patience. Keep yeah. calling it. It will enter. Please, please, please. please. Can we not make my husband become this? You have to run. Hey, brown sugar. <laughs> ah. You will think you want to beat me. You say, you want to beat me again today. Oh. That is all we can take on today's show. Please, Mikey, go to your house. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>